you guys. <clears throat> How are you doing? I am in a spot because I have contractors at my house. Well, not outside. <laughs> They're outside. Um, they're not coming in my house, don't worry. Um, but they're working on a mudroom addition. So I had to move and I'm hiding in the guest room right now. And that's where I am. Okay, let's see. It looks like we're all good, right? How are you all doing? Really excited to be back here with you. So what have you all been up to? What have you been? And creating and doing and um yeah let me know how you are i have a very cool topic for today which i think will help all of you so much um on how you use things and how you operate with setting intentions and, and manifesting and, and receiving what you want right um so especially around manifesting but also how you show up how you show up in your business and how you show up when you take action right so I'm just gonna jump in and let me know if you have any questions I'll get to the comments I don't see anything yet um, one thing that I see a lot I, I wrote about this yesterday in, in the group here in the post, and in this video I'm just gonna elaborate on it um, so what I see a lot is that we as women are scared to just be, to just lean back a little and just be, right? So you may relate to this as always um, wanting to do something, feeling restless when you sit down and do nothing, right? You want to fill up that space because when you slow down, it's uncomfortable and kind of scary, right? And at certain times that this may happen more often and other times this is, you may be totally okay with doing nothing, right? But I'm not sure, like who can relate to that experience? I'm sure you all had this experience before. And it's often so much easier and more comfortable, right? To fill up empty space with things to do and you may be distracting yourself so you feel more productive, right? Because otherwise it, it feels like that there's no progress and you're not getting anywhere and you may as well be doing something even though, you know, it's totally a distraction, right? But what happens when we do that is that we're constantly playing catch up that way because we're covering up the feelings that maybe we don't really want to feel them, right? We're covering it all up with actions and... The trick here is that I'm here to tell you this so that you can embody this for yourself, that the getting what you want, like the getting, right, and, and the thing that you want to experience, what you are working so hard towards, starts with feelings. It starts with feelings and the embodiment of it, right? And I'll tell you a little bit about my experience and how this used to be for me, is that I thought that if if I wasn't seeing the results, if I wasn't seeing what I wanted to see, then that meant that I didn't work hard enough, or I didn't put the right things out there, or I didn't show up often enough, I didn't work hard enough and, and did enough things, right? I had this really deep core belief that results equal really hard work and sacrificing all the in my life, like relationships and downtime and relaxing and self-care, right? And that's that really showed up for me over and over again in my business, and it has taken a lot of awareness and moving through that resistance to disprove, right? To disprove that belief, that really deep core belief to myself over and over again, because the thing is, hard work it it does equal results, right? Of course, yes. But it's about the energetics and the feelings first. You can do so many things. You can take action, work 60 hours a week on your business, right? But if you don't have the energetics and the feelings and the embodiment, right? Then you're just covering you're just covering up that that empty space, right? When I talked about earlier, you're just filling up the, the the days just to be productive right and 
this this is different for different people, right? It's different for men, for example. It can be different for men. But for us, and I know you relate to this because you're here, <laughs> we're feminine forward people, right? So this is important. So it's about taking the action, right, in an embodied way instead of just doing for the sake of doing. That's the point. <laughs> and there is actually a way to let all that stress and like that franticness off your shoulders. And there is a way to feel that deep sense of trust in the universe or in source or in God is God, right? Whatever you want to call it, that you are actually taken care of and that you are actually supported and that no matter how hard you work or how much time you spend on your business, you will always be taken care of and supported. Like the way that you are supported and taken care of by the universe, this has nothing to do with how much or how often you work, right? And sit with that for yourself. What is your belief about that? Do you believe that? Because it's taken me a long time to see that reality, right? And often, so often we do things for the sake of do right and you may think you you need to fill up the space and fill up your calendar so that you are productive and it's interesting because and then you feel like if you're not doing anything right, nothing is going to happen and it's that really frantic energy so i want to give you is that you may be stuck right i don't really believe that we're stuck ever um but stuck, right? This misconception that you need to get somewhere else than where you are right now. So that once you get there, once you work really hard towards that, then you can relax and you can feel better and you can stop working so hard and finally take care of yourself, right? How, how many of you tell yourself that? That once you get there, then you will take the time for yourself or then you will embody what you want, right? And receiving your desires, right, receiving what you want is, yes, about taking the action to do your part, right, meet the universe halfway, but it first starts with releasing that urge to get there, right, to get somewhere else than where you are right now. So that hustly stress and, like, frantic feeling, like, we all feel like this. Like, oh my gosh, like, why is it not working for me? And there is so much to do. And I see all these people doing these things and I need to be doing that too. And I'm not there yet. And what else do I need to do to make it happen, right? That energy. When you notice that, just stop. Just stop and take a breath, right? I want you, and if you want to change things in your life, this is going to be your homework. I want you to first feel into what you want, what do you want? Why? Why is that important to you? To feel what it's like to receive that thing. So it can be the travel, the clients, the money, time, freedom, the success, the impact, whatever, right? Whatever. The relationship, the friendships. And then you will see that it's already there. You're already feeling it. You're already feeling it right now. So you are completely capable of embodying it right now right and from that place you take the action and the action is you already know how or what to do right you already know what to do often or you're going to listen to um listen to your intuitive nudges your intuitive impulses right that seemingly come out of nowhere and it's like really magical and you follow them but when you start taking action from that feeling, that really embodied place of, wow, it's already here because I'm feeling it right now, right? That's how you're going to get to where you want to be. By matching the vibe of where you want to be. It's already here, this moment, right now. And so <clears throat> when you catch yourself in that really frantic stress, like, oh my gosh, I need to be doing more stuff, right? The only place to get to is within yourself. And the only way to get there is to slow down and feel safe slowing down and feel safe to be in the emptiness, right? And not fill 
your that empty space up with, with more things to do and I'm guilty of this <laughs> like I distract myself very often with just vacuuming the house you know what I mean and then I catch myself like okay what are you covering up right now you know what I mean and often it's this inspiration that wants to come through and it's really funny how easily we we drop into that resistance right can you relate to that let me know in the comments and this way when you when you start practicing this you your the feelings that you're feeling they're becoming your compass right they're becoming like okay this feels really good let's go there or this doesn't feel good at all so what's going on like what's the resistance here right and it's so funny because a lot of my clients they come to me ready to tackle their to-do lists and ready to take all the action they're like what can i do to make this a reality and i tell them to slow down and not do anything and <laughs> stop all the doing go within first because they need to know where they're wanting to go from deep down right instead of filling this space more with just doing and staying busy more and more because that's not going to get us the results often most often in my space 99.9% .9%. so that's all I have for you today I know that's really powerful let me read the comments oh there's comments hi yeah how, how do you see this in youth on how do you um okay so you're overwhelmed and excited at the same time oh then this is a really good talk for you <laughs> let me know if this was helpful for you if you're still there, you're watching the replay. And anyone else? How's this resonating? How's this resonating for you? Let me know. Talk to me. I um I have two more spots left this month for business alchemy. And let's see anyone else. So I have two more spots in April for business alchemy, which we're gonna go way deeper into this topic. The transformations that I have witnessed so far in it are really beautiful. <laughs> it's so cool. One client is creating her first online course right now and I know it's going to be really successful. Another client is writing a book. She's writing a book that she had always wanted to do but she never allowed herself that time. So it's really, really cool. And lots of really good things happen when you invest in your business. And so super Investment too. When you're in a space where it's safe to just not do for a while, and and I'm I'm helping you dream basically, and then to make those dreams a reality basically, and it 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 does start with that embodiment first, right? Exactly what we talked about in this video. And if you want a spot in business alchemy, it's over half price now, and I'm doing that to support all of you in these great times right so that you can start supporting yourself um, this is for you if you've in business if you've been in business for a little while or if you really want to right now take your business really seriously right this is the good time. people are gonna need you right now you know people are looking for healers and coaches right now right and this is for you if you need help figuring out like the how and the what and the who and the where right get in on this because you get to use this course this training over and over again because what i help you do is bring your gifts and your passions and like what's natural to you together in a beautiful offering but it's it's really easy it, it's ease and clarity and and in in a beautiful alchemical container that's it's really simple and non-salesy because that was one of my things too. I that that's one of the areas where a lot of women struggle with, right? Myself included. I used to just the sales was a little, you know, and then I figured out it's not about the hustling or the getting, right? This exact video, it's not about getting somewhere or making the sale or endlessly marketing yourself, right? It's about you expressing yourself and your truth and you feeling worthy of helping others with what you know. And that's what I'm going to help you bring to the forefront in Business Alchemy. It's only eight weeks long. You get one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. 
and eight training videos and lots of homework and home play and resources and meditations and it's really really good so send me a message if you're interested and i'll send you more information there's no sales calls i just ask you a few questions and that's it exactly what i right now yay i'm so glad this was helpful okay that was all i had for you today i hope this was fun it was fun for me this is a really good topic for me so i will see you next week and then next week we're also doing a accountability hour again and a women's circle so i'll post about that okay so take care everyone let me know how you're doing if you're watching the replay and i'm sending you all so much love bye